Okay, we're back with more with uh, Louis Pichet. Louis, um, uh, let's talk about how what measures you can take to secure your home. We already talked about boots on the front porch and a dog dish, but how about like your windows and doors and things like that? Okay, we're going to get serious about what types of locks, things you should have on your door. You need to have a deadbolt lock on your door, your perimeter doors. That's your front door, your back door, the door that goes from your laundry room into your garage or to your carport. If you don't have a deadbolt lock and you're depending on that one little knob with the little lock in the middle, well, the criminal can use this tool right here. He can get this tool at any hardware store for less than $5. He can use it, be in your home in less than three seconds. That's faster than you can use your keys. That's why you want to have a deadbolt lock. Make sure the deadbolt lock goes at least a half inch to three quarters of an inch into your framework. Okay, that's your deadbolt lock. Okay. Uh, if you're changing out all your deadbolt locks, you'll see on the back of this, there's a number. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, match this number. All those keys are going to be the same locks. It's going to save you the cost of rekeying those locks. That's the deadbolt lock. Now let's, real quickly, we'll talk about your windows. We've talked about your front door, back door, side door. Your windows, there's basically two types of windows. This is the older style. It's called the Rollout Miami or Jalousy window. If you uh, have seen a lot of the churches in their fellowship halls, the older churches with these rollout windows, they've known for years that when no one's in a church, in order to protect that, they'll take these cranks off. This is the effective way to lock this type of window because it doesn't lock. Now, don't put it on the window so where that criminal can see it. You want to put it in a drawer. Take it off the window. Put it in a drawer in each of the rooms that you take it off. Then you know where it is. When you need it, take it off. Put it right on the crank. Open the window. When you're finished with it, put it back in the drawer. Now, everybody else has what we call sash windows or sliding windows. These windows are better because they do lock, but they only lock in the closed position. Now, lots of people in Florida, they like to sleep with their windows open. They know it's not as safe, but with these locks right here, these are called a secondary window lock or a track lock. It fits on the tracks of the windows. Or can so you get something like that? You're going to get these at Walmart, Kmart, Target. You can get them. These are four for a dollar. Home Depot or Lowe's, they're $2.50 a pack. You can do all your windows for 50 cents for each of your windows if you go to Walmart on the utility aisle. So. If you open your window six to seven inches, the criminal can't crawl through that space, but there's plenty of air coming through. You take the first one, slide it across the window till it meets the track, and for fire safety purposes, just hand tighten the first one. Take the second one, and you slide it across your window. Now what you have here are two locks above that window. You've locked that window in the open position. Now you can close it, but when you open it, it only opens at six to seven inches. It also reinforces that one manufacturing lock. What about the, the criminal being able to break your window and kind of reach, just reach in and unlock it? Well, we talk about uh, double key or double cylinder locks with that type of thing. Or if we're talking about the windows, what the criminal does, when he sees that type of window, he's going to smash the glass. He's going to reach in for this key. If that key's not there, his decision is, do I go through the broken glass or do I go on to another home? Chances are he's going to move on to another home. What, what's this prop you have over here? It looks like a window. Okay, this is where we're going to have a little fun. This is called what they call safety or security window film. Now, this is used for both burglary protection and storm protection. It's got a lot of attention since 9-11, down here in hurricane country since Hurricane Andrew. Our government uses this for bomb blast protection. And I'm sure if you lived on a golf course, you would want to have that if I was playing on the golf course that day. Right. But for burglary protection, what I'd like to do, if you'll, will you help me out? Sure. Okay, what come on up. Do? You want to grab the hammer? Okay, grab a hammer. All right, the whole idea with security or safety window film, it's placed inside the glass and it acts like a safety net. It stops the glass from shattering into the home. So what we're going to do is an experiment. Now, this glass is going to break, okay? Okay. It's going to break. So what I want you to I do. Am I going to get hurt? Or? No, you're not <laughs> going to get hurt at all. all right. I'm going to help you. Okay. You're the criminal. So. Take as many wax as you want, just but just don't do it. Yeah, just don't do it easy. I want you to do it as hard as you can. Okay. Are you ready? Go. Come on, harder. Harder. I got a good swing. You do. All right. Imagine that. Now, eventually, this will that break because it's glass. That's what window film does for you. So it's like we were, as we were talking before. Anybody who's living alone and they want that extra burglary protection. This is an excellent retrofit to existing windows. Again, it's placed on the inside of the windows. And, and that's just a film that goes on your window and keeps it from shattering. It is. You can get wow. it in different thicknesses. 
the window film. And it's also great for hurricane protection. It's getting to be hurricane season, and this film has to cure. This has been curing right here for about 90 days, and that's what's giving the flexibility to the window to give it that extra strength. Uh, when is a person most vulnerable when they're not in their home? L let's take, take a woman. Okay, for a woman, you're most vulnerable in a parking lot. That could be parking garages that are prevalent here in Sarasota. Parking lots, it could be the mall, it could be the restaurant, anywhere. 80% of personal attacks take place in parking lots. That's a danger zone. Let's take the danger out of the danger zone by following a few simple techniques each and every time that you enter the parking lot. Okay, we're gonna have to take our last break and when we come back, we're gonna talk about what those techniques are. More with uh, Louis Pichet when we come back.